I'm Georgia Ulmer. I'm Georgia Ulmer. And I'm Georgia Ulmer. You work for Casa de Esperanza, but today what I want to talk about is the Information and Resource Center, which is under the umbrella of Casa de Esperanza. Okay. Can you talk a little bit about that, um, the Resource Center, and what you provide for the community? I, I just wanted to touch a little bit on um, light rail, and, and I kind of want to talk about it because I, I, I remember back to, or I don't remember, but I know that there was the Rondo, 94 went through Rondo. Absolutely. Do you think that light rail is going to have any kind of impact on um, your, your district? Recording a quality voiceover may not be as simple as you think. SPNN intern Magnolia Mua and voice coaching guru Don Cosgrove teamed up to talk about some voiceover recording tips in the upcoming workshop all about vocal recording production. 16 by 9 is an aspect ratio of an image. The most common aspect ratio is 4 by 3. The width of the image to its height expressed as two numbers separated by a colon. Okay, maybe someone else can bring more clarity to this matter. Let's see if this next tech tip will do the job. Model Cities has been around St. Paul for a long time. Yes. And I know that I grew up here and I've always heard the name Model Cities, but I wasn't quite sure what they did. So uh -huh. what is your mission or your goal uh -huh. for, the, for the organization? We've been around since 1967. Accountability Minnesota is an organization that has been offering tax and financial services to people in need. With me today is Tracy Fishman. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. I appreciate the opportunity. Now, Tracy, give us an overview of Accountability Minnesota, um, their history, and then how the accountants formed the group. And then also, can you give me what your title is mm -hmm. and a little bit about what you do with sure, the organization? Sure, abso absolutely. It's easy to take a park for granted during the winter since your lunch plans won't include braving the zero degree weather to lounge on a bench inhaling a turkey sandwich. But by summer, Mears Park is gorgeous and an essential city dweller haven. Wouldn't it be intriguing to roll back the hands of time and celebrate the holidays Victorian style? Well, you can. The Minnesota Historical Society welcomes you to tour the Alexander Ramsey House decked with pine garlands, original 1870s ornaments and furnishings, complete with historical costume tour guides. SPNN Member of the Month, Mike Winters, produces a show called Twisted TV, a show directed towards mature audiences. Let's hear what Mike has to say about his experiences here at SPNN, as well as the publicity he's received regarding his show. Bridges to Safety is a, an organization consisting of 18 different um, agencies that come together to end domestic violence. Can you talk about how it began, why it began, just kind of give us a brief history? Relatively new member Roberto Adros became involved in SPNN through his church and is a dedicated producer ever since, an experience he says has changed his life. Being in front of the microscopic lens of the camera can be nerve-wracking. Today we're going to learn a thing or two about on-camera performance. A lot of our members here are talk show hosts. Who do you think of our members would um, best benefit from your workshop? You did it again, Jack! Mm, mm, mm. Don't lose your shirt. Hi, I'm Minneapolis Mayor R.T. Ryback, and I'm one happy guy because it is the beginning of winter in the city of Minneapolis. We have snow. We have ice skating, we have cross-country skiing, we have crisp, beautiful days. So if you want to come to Minneapolis, the winter capital of the United States of America, you can come to really experience a beautiful winter. 